Yo, I am Eumonic. There are five different compressors in BandLab. I'm gonna show you my favorite one, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you what compression does and how you can use it to make more music. Compressors react to dynamics, which is why in BandLab these five compressors are in the dynamics effects category. That makes sense. Simply, dynamics are varying levels of volume in a sound, how loud or how quiet a sound is. Compressors squeeze those dynamics together, which technically makes the sound less dynamic. The louder parts become more quiet and everything gets squeezed together. The FBK compressor is my favorite because in my opinion it has the most control. More importantly, it has the five components that I want you to understand. Attack, release, squeeze, remember that one, ratio, and makeup gain. Squeeze, also known as threshold, is the point at which the compressor is going to start compressing or squeezing. For example, the drum loop that I have loaded up has peaks around the kick and the snare, and those are where they're the loudest. So when they cross that threshold, it's going to begin squeezing or lowering the volume of those peaks. Now, the amount at which it lowers those peaks is known as the ratio. Right now I have it set at five to one. So if the kick drum comes through the compressor and it crosses that threshold, if it's five decibels, then it's gonna become one decibel. I'm using simple numbers to help us understand, like it could be 10 decibels and then it would become two decibels. Ratio is the proportion at which a sound gets squeezed once it crosses the threshold. For limiters, they don't have a ratio. It's like infinity to one, meaning nothing crosses the threshold. Ratio allows compressors to sound natural and breathe a little bit without completely squashing the sound. The speed at which that squeeze happens is controlled with the attack and release. For these drums, I have it set to a quick attack because they're sharp and punchy transients, so the compressor needs to react fast enough to begin to shape the dynamics of those peaks or those transients. For a visual reference, I exported the compressed version of this drum track so you can see that the peaks, those transients, have been squashed while the lower parts of the drum track are still the same volume, if not louder. And that's due to the makeup gain. Once this dynamic range has been limited, the sound is gonna be quieter and makeup gain is gonna compensate for that loss in volume. Now I did my best to match the original and the compressed volumes so you don't hear a difference in loudness you just hear the character of how the compressor is changing those dynamics yeah those drums are probably over compressed but it does show you how you can limit the dynamic range of a track while maintaining the punch and impact of those transients that's really important, for example, when you're recording vocals, you want to be able to hear the singer even if they dip down in volume while recording. Aside from the FBK compressor, there are four more compressors in BandLab, and some of them are modeled after industry standard compressors. I really like the sound of the 1176, which is modeled after the Universal Audio compressor of the same name. The concept of compression remains the same, but they all work in different ways, and they have different characters as well. So it's good to experiment and use your ears and really understand what the compressor is doing and how it's changing the dynamics of your track. Once you get this squeeze thing figured out, it's gonna help your tracks. Vocals, drums, synth, guitars, basically anything. Compression is really incredible. Make sure you're subscribed here for more BandLab tutorials. And if you're curious what I do, hit the link in the description and check out my channel. Now, you know what to do. Make more music. Peace.